Miles and miles of fine sandy tourist lined beach. Literally hundreds of luxury hotels and thousands of years of ancient history and ruins. Welcome to the resort of Sidae. The quaint little town of Sidae, with its small port, is built on the ruins of the ancient Greek-Roman city from over 2,000 years ago, and is dominated by the Temple of Athena, a 15,000-seat theatre, and a Roman bath which is now housing the museum. The long fine sandy beaches which flank both sides of the old city have attracted huge investment in the last 25 years and hundreds of hotels with beautiful gardens and great facilities make it one of the biggest and the most popular resorts in Turkey. There's several areas to this resort, so let's have a look at the old town first. This was originally a Roman city, and uh, they built modern buildings and shops around it uh, to accommodate the tourists. In fact, there's more shops here than, uh, than the Bullring Shopping Centre in Birmingham, or Knightsbridge in London. Most people keep out of the streets in Sidae in the afternoon because it's so hot. The clever people, they come down in the afternoon because it's fairly quiet. And you'll find that nearly all the shops have got air conditioning. So if you go from one shop to the other, you stay quite cool shopping. Unfortunately, then when it gets cooler in the evening, um, the masses descend. But don't let that put you off because it's got some lovely restaurants and bars and the atmosphere here is fabulous. It's definitely our favourite place for a night out. Most of the lovely bars and restaurants are off the main street, in the back streets and next to the coast. They even light up the ancient ruin of Athena. And on that note, let's have a look at the ancient ruins. Something else that's really nice about Sidae is a lot of the ancient ruins, you can just access them without paying. So there's lots of tracks and walkways around some of the ruins. Don't cost you a penny. There are literally ruins everywhere in this place, in people's gardens, in the streets, and even built into some of the walls of the houses. And this place has been used for a set for lots of films and music videos. But for me, the highlight was the small museum, which has been housed in the old Roman baths. was a real surprise to me because I've been here several times and never bothered to go in the museum but um, it's well worth a visit and the, the actual building itself is amazing it's uh, really beautiful and they've got some beautiful artifacts in here stunning
Most of the hotels in Sidé are so big they have their own entertainment. And also just outside of the bigger hotels, little resorts have cropped up. Most of the restaurants here serve pretty much everything that you'd get in Europe and the UK. The Turks do make fantastic pizzas. But if you want to try some specialities, look for the Ottoman kitchen on the menus. Most of the bigger hotels here are all inclusive. Although there are some nice little restaurants just outside of the bigger hotels in the mini resorts which have developed. Of course, most people come here because of the beach, the hotels, the food and the drink. And I have to say the fine sandy beach is superb and well managed. The smaller, quieter beaches are on the eastern side of the old town. If you're an all-inclusive beach lover, then this place is for you. But if you're an explorer like me, Sidé has other things to offer. So whether you hire a car, go on an organised tour bus, or go on a jeep safari. There's so many things to see and do in this area. So this is the ancient ruins of Perge. I've been coming to this site for over 30 years now and it still amazes me and I always find something new like this that I hadn't seen before. Many of the beautiful artifacts and marble statues from this site are in the Antalya Museum which is also worth a visit and I'll be covering that in another programme. Not far away from here is a place called Aspendos where you'll find one of the best theatres in the world. So, if you want to see a fantastic theatre, it's a spendos you need to come to. So this is Man of Gap Waterfalls, and it's only a 15 minute drive out of Sidé. Uh, it might not be the highest waterfall, but it is a beautiful place to come, and it's really cool in the middle of the day. Although it gets busy here in the middle of the day, there are some lovely restaurants and it's a great place to have a nice bit of lunch next to the river. About a 20 minute drive from Manavgat Falls and I've come to this ruin, which is, doesn't seem to be on the tourist map at all. But I'm absolutely gobsmacked. I spent hours walking around this site and wondering about its undiscovered treasures. What I find really amazing is I'm the only person here. A few agencies do a tour or jeep safari to the Green Lake or Green Canyon. The lakes which are at the back of Manavgat Falls are the result of dams built in the 80s and they supply Sidé with electricity. If you're thinking of going to see a dam, look at this one. Oimapanar Dam 
is 185 metres high. That's over 600 feet. There are dozens of cafes and restaurants on the river and on the lakes, and even boat trips crossing the lake. Manavgat Falls and the ancient ruins of Lirbe might be included on this tour. Check with the agency you book with. There's a lot of other places in Side and around Antalya that I haven't visited, and maybe they'll be covered in other programs. We use several online companies as affiliates when we're travelling around to get accommodation, flights, etc. And my links are in the description below. And please subscribe to my channel and make sure you click the little bell uh, to indicate when I've put something new on. I teach Turkish, Turkish in two minutes, sometimes five minutes. Uh, there's 22 lessons if you want to learn a bit of Turkish for your holiday. Um, have a look at that. The links to that are also in the description and any of there's other links and affiliates uh, that you'll find below as well so i hope that's given you an insight into sid thanks for watching